Welcome to Accounting in Focus. In this video, we are going to talk about purchasing inventory and how to do the journal entries to record the purchase of inventory. There are two methods a company could use. They could either use the periodic method or the perpetual method. Under the periodic method, we update at the end of the period. Okay, so if you want to think periodic, we're only updating at the end of the period. Under the perpetual method, we are updating always. Okay, so perpetual, right? Perpetual means continuously. So under the perpetual method, we are always updating inventory, okay, whenever we have a transaction. So under the periodic method, there are a couple accounts that you will not see under the perpetual method. So the perpetual method, we use inventory. Under the periodic method, we're going to use purchases. Okay, and there are a couple accounts that are actually related to purchases. Those accounts are, let's put them over here, purchase returns and allowances. And purchase discounts. Okay, so there are a couple more accounts you need to know if you're going to use the periodic method. The perpetual method is actually just inventory in, inventory out. Okay, um, let's actually, let's start with perpetual. Okay, let's go there first. So, I'll change my color a little bit here. Okay, so let's look at the first entry. How do we know that we're dealing with purchases? Because the journal entry, the, the entry actually says purchased $3,000 worth of inventory, terms 210 net 30. Okay, so on 4-3, we purchased inventory. Okay, what does 210 net 30 mean? Well, if we've got terms, that means that it was on account okay so we're not talking about payment of cash here 210 means that if we pay, if ABC pays within 10 days they'll get a 2% discount so if they pay by 413 they'll get 2% discount Otherwise, if they pay net 30, if they pay by 5, 3, no discount. And typically what happens, most companies, if you go beyond the 30 days, so if they pay after 5, 3, they probably have to pay some sort of finance charge or interest charge because they paid late. Okay, so on 4-3, they purchased $3,000 worth of inventory, terms 210 net 30. So we know that 210 net 30 means on account, right? Right. If we purchased inventory under the perpetual method, one of my accounts is going to be inventory. The other account is going to be accounts payable. because we owe that vendor money. Okay, so I'm going to put my DR and my CR up here, my debit and my credit. Okay, let's think about which one is my debit. So I've got an asset going up and I've got a liability going up. Well, my inventory, normal balance is a debit, so I'm going to put 3000 and accounts payable liability normal balance is a credit 
3,000. Okay, so that's it. That's all you're required to do. Now, for 4, 5, ABC returned $650 worth of inventory because the items were the wrong color. So they're returning inventory. Okay, so let's think about what happens here. So I don't have $3,000 worth of inventory anymore because I returned $650 of it. So my inventory is going down. Okay, so my inventory is going down. That means that I don't owe $3,000 anymore, right? I owe $650 less. So my entry is going to be accounts payable. and inventory. Okay, what's happened to my accounts payable? My accounts payable is decreasing. If the normal balance is a credit, then to lower the balance, I need to debit the account. And my inventory had 3000 but I returned 650 so to decrease the account, I need to credit 650 Okay, that's it for that. Now, 411. Okay, on I brought up my calculator because we're going to have to do a calculation here. So on 411, ABC pays the balance in full. We're paying before 413, so that means they get a 2% discount. Okay, so we know that we're paying cash. and we know that we have we're paying off our accounts payable okay so let me get my calculator back up here okay how much do we owe well we originally borrowed three thousand but we returned six hundred fifty dollars so I've got to subtract six fifty Okay, so my accounts payable balance right now is $2,350. And if you look at that, there's 3,000 3, credit, 650 debit. So that means in order to pay this off, we've got to debit the account $2,350. But now is that how much cash we're paying? Remember, we're getting a 2% discount. So we're not paying that much cash we're paying, let's see, we're going to get a 2% discount, which means we're going to pay 98% of the balance, so times 0.98, and that is $2,303 in cash. $2,303 in cash. And we're going to credit our cash, because my cash is going down. So now I have a $47 difference to make my journal entry work. Where am I going to put that $47? Let's think about let's think about why we got the discount. We got the discount because we paid early and we bought inventory. I originally bought $3,000 worth of inventory, but then I returned 650 Okay, so I bought $2,350 worth of inventory, but I didn't pay $2,350 for it. I paid $2,303 for it. So I don't have $2,350 worth of inventory. I have $2,303 worth of inventory. So I'm going to credit inventory. For forty-seven dollars. Okay, and what that's going to do is that will bring down the balance in my account. So that way, it shows that I only paid twenty-three oh three for that inventory. It's kind of like when you buy a truck. It doesn't matter if the truck is worth twenty-five thousand. If you pay nineteen for it, we're going to record it at nineteen. It's kind of what we're doing here with the discount. Okay, it's almost like as if we said. 
okay, if you pay cash today, we'll give you a 2% discount. So you're only paying 2303 for the inventory, not 2350. Okay. So that's kind of the way you think about it is what did you really pay for the inventory? Okay, so that's perpetual. That's pretty simple, right? Inventory goes up, we debit inventory. Inventory goes down, we credit inventory. The value of the inventory changes, we credit inventory. Okay? Periodic, we said a few minutes ago that we're going to use purchases, purchase returns and allowances, and purchase discounts. Okay, so this method is a little bit more complicated than perpetual, but it's not too bad. Okay, so let's look at 4 or 3. So let me put up my debit and my credit. Okay, on 4-3, I purchased $3,000 worth of inventory, terms to 10 net 30. So when I make that purchase, instead of using inventory, I'm going to use purchases. Okay, so I'm going to use purchases and I'm going to use accounts payable. purchases is my debit, accounts payable is my credit. Okay, on 4-5, ABC returned $650 worth of inventory because the items were the wrong color. So I'm not going to hit purchases again because I want to know at the end of the period how much did I return and get allowances for and how much did I receive discounts on? So I'm going to use a contra account to purchases called purchase returns and allowances. Let's see, make sure I can fit this here. Purchase returns and allowances. And then what else is happening? So I'm returning inventory, which means I don't owe as much money. So I'm going to use accounts payable. Okay. My purchase returns and allowances. If I, when I purchased the inventory, I debited purchases. Since this is a contra account, I am going to credit purchase returns and allowances for 650 and my payable is decreasing 650. Okay. And now on the 11th. Okay, ABC pays the balance in full. So I am still paying cash of 2303. I still am paying off my accounts payable to 0, which my current accounts payable balance is 3000 3000 minus 650 which is 2350 make sure that you credit the entire or you debit the entire amount of the payable okay because if you don't then it's going to show we still have a balance of $47 okay and ABC doesn't owe any more money to their vendor their balance is paid in full the last part why are we only paying 2303? Because we received a discount. And that is called a purchase discount. Purchase discount for $47. Okay, so perpetual, if inventory is moving, you're always using inventory. Okay, we're always using that inventory account. So notice inventory is moving inventory is moving and in this case the value of the inventory is changing right because we got the discount hey okay, under the periodic method we're not going to use inventory we're going to use purchases purchase returns and allowances when you return something and purchase discounts Okay, one more thing. A lot of people ask me, what is an allowance? How is an allowance different from a return? 
An allowance is when a vendor gives you credit because there's something wrong with your order. But when you get an allowance, you're not returning inventory. Okay, so when there's an allowance, the value of your inventory is changing, but the quantity of inventory is not. Okay, hope that helped.